Welcome to Millennial Moment. My name is Brittany. In this video, we're going to talk about adulting with health insurance. Health insurance is something we need regardless if we want it or not. So what are some ways to manage it in the most financially and mentally efficient ways? Let's get into it. So if you're between the ages of 18 and 25, you can actually stay on your family plan until you're 26. Also, some colleges have their own health plans. Rutgers, within New Jersey, for example, there's Rutgers, Stevens Institute of Tech, Princeton, Drew, and Montclair State. Check with your college to see if they have any health plan coverages available. So let me share with you some benefits and advantages of having a student plan. First up, you're covered all year, not just for your semesters. You're covered no matter where you go, though be sure to check the plan if you go to an out-of-state school. And if you transfer schools, your plan may move with you. If you're 26 years or older, here's some plan options for you. A catastrophic plan, available if you're under 30 or qualify for a hardship or affordability exemption. It has a low premium, but it's a high deductible plan. They're designed to protect you in the worst case scenario. They cover the same minimum health benefits as other plans, including preventive services, emergency services, prescription drugs. You must pay for all health care costs until you meet a high annual deductible. So there's the downside. The catastrophic plan includes three primary care visits every year. It also includes free preventative services required under the Affordable Care Act, including certain screenings and immunizations. Another option is to apply for a rider. So once you age out of eligibility uh, on your parents' plan, you have the option to remain within the group's coverage for an additional period of time. If it's a group health plan associated with COBRA, New Jersey Small Group Continuation Law, or the New Jersey Dependent Under 31 Law. This does not apply if your parent has an individual health plan. So it's a fun thing to ask at the dinner table. Next up, if you are above the age of 30. So if you're at a catastrophic plan, you're automatically moved to a similar plan with similar benefits once you age 30 or up. Now, you're going to need to find new insurance, which means, unfortunately, you need to shop around. Luckily, there are sites like The Marketplace, which can help you figure out a plan that works for you. Or you can check with an insurance broker to help you search and explain all those annoying insurance acronyms. Another option, Medicaid. As of November 2018, 66.1 million people are covered under Medicaid. These programs pay for hospital services, doctor visits, prescriptions, nursing home care, and other health care needs, depending on what program a person is eligible for. To be eligible for New Jersey Medicaid, a person must be a resident of New Jersey, meet a U.S. citizen or qualified immigrant, or meet a specific standards for financial income and resources. Always make sure you check with the marketplace to see what you're qualified for and what you can get. You can get there by going to healthcare.gov. So also, if you're above the age of 30, when it comes to health insurance, if you have a full-time job, see what options your employer offers you. Most employers subsidize or even fully cover monthly premiums. In the description below, there will be a link uh, to a blog post filled with fun resources for you to also check out some advice, all that fun stuff. And remember, here at Northeast Insurance Services, we're more than insurance. We protect what means the most to you, and we create connections with our clients. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, as well as down in the comments. Don't be afraid to leave me a note of what you think about these videos, if there's anything in particular that you want me to go over, discuss, have conversation with you about. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Millennial Moment.